Dire Team Ban. <laughs> dire Team Pick. Treant Protector. Complexities turn to pick. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Warlock. Complexities turn to pick. Legion Commander. Dire team pick. Ten Dazzle. Complexities turn to ban. So Firo is back in in the game number three because of the ping issue. Uh, I just love the ping uh, pick so far. Look at all those heals: Dazzle, Trian Protector, Warlock, and Legion. That's like four out of four heroes that can uh, cast heal. So I expect these uh, team fights to actually um, last long. Like th these might be the one uh, one and a half minute fights. Just by seeing these four picks. Dire team ban. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Complexities turn to pick. Well, Legion... Yeah. Well, well, Legion Commander into Dazzle. He will need to find that Dazzle in uh, those fights. Remaining. Shadow Blade is a must-have item Five this game. Remaining. Reserve time. Yeah, that hero, man. I think uh, hero should uh, get a little bit of nerf. What do you say? Like uh, his spells uh, are so good. The, the best thing about him is uh, if you're playing from behind, uh, it's really impossible to siege a base against him. Plus uh, overgrowth uh, timing, uh, four and a half seconds, level three. In it, it, yeah, it just kills the, the late game. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Yeah. <laughs> Reserve time. Sand. Yeah, we saw Firo on uh, Ember Spirit Complexity in the first game. Turn to pick. We saw Ember Spirit on SG Esports in the second game and again in the third game. Same goes for Warlock, picked in all three games. Oh, we're gonna see Tavo Sand King. That guy is just yeah, that guy is just a beast on on Sand King. Five 
five seconds remaining. Reserve time. Mm, I, I don't think it's a one on one against Legion Commander. This is a good tri lane setup for, for SG Esports with Treant and Dazzle. They can go uh, off lane with it. Uh, but, but for Sanking, it's just a classic. Uh, oh, it's a initiation and uh, just some burst damage after all. Plus, he plays uh, re excellent Sanking, so it's like a no brainer. It's uh, something they need to lock down Ember Spirit as well. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. Uh, well, after they saw Dazzle and Trian Protector, they, mm, they might think, all right, SG will go aggressive tri lane with, all right, look at these three heroes with Weaver, it's so strong, but with Undying Warlock, that's a lot of heal and a lot of uh, damage burst, so they, they can contest it. They, we might actually see tri lane on tri lane. Ten seconds remaining. <sighs> Or you, we can see Vorlock Legion Commander offlane. Uh, that also that duo is also good. It's something like you and me together. Yeah. We Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Yeah, we uh, we didn't talk much about uh, Weaver in last game. Uh, usually, when uh, HFN is playing it, he always uh, goes out of control on that hero. Oh, it's a. Uh... What they do, they, they, they don't pick Weaver when there's a lot of lockdown. Uh, plus, they had Dazzle last game as well, so you can uh, do the Grave uh, save combo back into the time lapse, just turn the fight around with it. But uh, he contributes a lot during the mid game. He's in a lot of fights, getting all those skills. And uh, if you saw, uh, he uses those uh, diffusal charges like really aggressively he, he's not afraid to use it at minute 25 he already has uh, level 2 diffusal blade because he used all the charges 10 seconds remaining invoker oh Come on, turn to pick Wow, that's a good combo. Uh, they have a lot of things to focus on if you're complexity. If, if their uh, early game goes well, I, I will say it even without uh, seeing the last pick, uh, SG might uh, just uh, roll over them with uh, these heroes. Naga Siren. Oh, it should be a safe lane Naga, Ember Spirit on mid still. Uh, Invoker sometimes just shit on Ember Spirit on mid, especially with those uh, like uh, two Null Talismans build. Yeah. Like, cast Alacrity, just hit him and he, he's forced to go out of the lane. And the, the, the complexity is uh, uh, position 4 and 5 heroes uh, are really not mobile at all. 
There's Undying, but he really can't set up a gank. They don't have any slow, don't have any stun. Ten seconds. On the other hand, you have Trian Protector and Dazzle. Trian with good movement speed uh, from the Nature's guys and uh, can also heal up uh, Invoker. It's going to be really hard to take him down. So you're feeling pretty confident with SG Esports laning phase and... What what's the good thing then that's going to be going for potentially complexity at this point? Is it just a matter of, you know, withstanding all that pressure in the early part of the game and just hoping that the Naga is something that they can ride the coattails of? Uh, if it's tri lane against tri lane, uh, Legion Commander should uh, win easily uh, lane against Sanking, uh, and uh, I guess they need to win uh, their tri lane. With uh, some good heals uh, and good harassment on the early stages from uh, Undying. All right, well, it's time to get into it, folks. This is the hype game at number three. One team will move on into the playoffs, and one team will have to try again next summit if they were hoping to have a chance to make it to the Los Angeles LAN. Chill with all the bros, play some dotes, have some brewskis, barbecue. Maybe throw some cornhole bags around. Sounds like a lot of fun. It is a lot of fun. Uh, apparently Tabo's PC is totally fucked at this moment, so they're going to look at working around that as much as possible here before we get underway. Lots of exciting Dota happening, and we're not done yet. Once this match does conclude, do not go too far. We have more Dota coming your way. Another best of three as we are going to be jumping from Group A over to Group B for the lower bracket final as it is a matchup of the new Digital Chaos Squad uh, taking on Team Infamous in another similar situation. One team to stay alive and move on to the playoffs. Another team that will be making their summit exit. And at the moment, you know, there is no South America representation in the playoffs, so it's between SG and Infamous to be able to do so. Currently sitting in the playoffs and finishing at the top of the seeds in their respected groups is Team NP, uh, winning out of Group A, and, of course, Thunderbirds winning out of Group B. But Lacoste, this was pretty much expe expected by most people. Yeah, well, uh, this match is... Uh was uh, to be like uh, it's gonna go either to complexity or sg and the the rest we kind of know what what would happen at least for myself i can speak yeah why does the sg have a hundred uh, gold advantage net worth i could not <laughs> tell you really did they buy more items at the start i'm not too sure and yeah it sh should should work like that and Cole, I guess, just didn't buy everything. Who's holding? Z Freak's holding oh. for it. I mean, we have, like, a demon who apparently hasn't really spent much gold yet. Oh, still 120, so. That might be why. Or maybe someone random last got that extra gold on SG. That would be so bold to just random their last pick and got the extra gold at the end. All right, well, it will take a little bit of extra time to kind of wait things out. How is your day going otherwise? I don't mind just chilling and chatting about whatever because we kind of right. already set the stage for this game. We already know what's coming. Well, we said everything. We we're prepared to go to the game. My day my day is fine. It's uh, 12 a.m. I'm out of energy drinks, though. That's kind of sucky, but uh, still write me what I should drink instead to stay awake. Do you end up uh, sleeping in because you stay up pretty late? Uh, no, I just sleep uh, less. That <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> At hard work. I'm a hard-working guy. Because you work in the morning as well? Yes. Okay. Dang. That's some good hard work. No. no. You know. You yeah. know. Mm. Hard-working now so I can retire by the age of, uh, let's say... 35. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if only. That'd be great. I would be super close to that. Yeah. So I'd be happy if that was the case. <laughs> I know, but you and I, we have like 60 plus years together. Yeah. We're old Dota people. Old Dota people. The game but just isn't the same that it used to be, you know? 
Well, we are still young in our hearts. That's what matters. What is coming up here? So, any uh, fun Croatian holidays coming up? Yeah, no. Oh, I'm not sorry. like a traditional guy. I all tend right. to celebrate like other stuff than national stuff. So, do you have a favorite uh, holiday though? Uh, weekend. <laughs> You're not like, I guess you don't really know much to celebrate, like Halloween or Christmas or Thanksgiving or... Oh, we don't have Thanksgiving yeah, here. They don't have any of that. American, <laughs> yeah. I know we that. Have, I'm just, we have Christmas, Easter, kind of stuff. I don't Easter's know if it's Croatian Thanksgiving. Stuff. I'm not sure what we're uh, grateful for. Like, thanks mm. uh, for the Civil War. Good weather. And, well, yeah, good weather and um, the bullshit economy. Uh, mm -hmm. corrupt politicians like there's so so much things to be grateful about what in Dota would you be most grateful for um, for people buying me items <laughs> yeah <laughs> no did someone, I, I, you said someone did you say someone bought you your battle pass too yeah there's, there's always someone who buys a battle pass dang you got like a sugar daddy hooking you up with a lot of Dota lore Dota has well, showing some that. love. Ah. Don't That's you have funny. anyone like a big fan that buys you items? My mom. No. Uh, I I stuff. Wow. I, uh. No, I mean. No, I typically buy my own shit. It's fine. I have no problem with it. I, I was kind of collecting items uh, when, it, when they came out, like for Axe and Pudge. I'm still like them. Pudge is still my favorite hero. And um, sadly, I can't stream uh, because of the shit internet connection I have at home. Uh, so I could show the world how how good of a pudge I am. Sad face. They could check your replays, probably, right? Or should no, they? No. Yeah, that, they should. They should, man. <laughs> uh, looks like we still are missing our Sand King player. Uh, I'm not sure how much time is going to be allocated for SG to try to fix their problem. It's very unfortunate that right at the start of this very hype game number three, one of their PCs starts pooping out a bit. But we'll, we'll give them the respect and the time to uh, try to get it sorted as much as possible here. Yeah, SG having like weird problems, uh, PC <laughs> shit fucked up, uh, <laughs> problems with routing. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, yeah. First it was the rooting, and now it's the the PCs. Unfortunately, take some of that Kia major money and get some nice PCs. I would actually love to. They could be in a team house too. I'm not too sure actually. Yeah, I'll I'll, I'll add the. Uh, cool you know, them. every time you hop into the lobby, you're just like, hey. Yeah, I'm I'm, all, I'm always up, my brothers. Ch ch chatting with them. I'll add King RD. He seems to be. The most friendly of them and the 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 biggest uh, fan from the past. Add friend. All right. Oh snap! We got the admin dropping the ETA. That's when you know he's watching the clock. Looks like they're coming. He's coming. He's just got a you know. You know how many times in my like history of having to like be like admin for like the old qualifier tournaments that you know players disconnect and it's like oh they're coming and then you wait like five more minutes lying. it's like they're on the voice thing we hear him he's coming he's turning on dota four more minutes pass the dota's on now he's just trying to find the lobby four more minutes pass he's there he just forgot the password <laughs> can't it's like, connect it's like people in the room with them Ugh. well certainly uh I also like the idea, someone was saying that there should be an idea like when they pause in games like this, there should be like a timer that starts. They should just have like a little timer that says how long the game had been paused for. 85% they say. 85% what? 85% of the update. Oh, he had the update? PC. Yeah. Oh, oh, I see, I see. I oh, guess they because had of to... the routing. Oh, that's, yeah. that's a bummer. They had to completely change out his PC, huh? A bummer. They're going to have to get the update. We'll have to log in, Steam Authenticator, change, change sure my, settings. Make sure my settings are all correct. 
Yeah, this and could the... last a little while. It's only <laughs> the update, so. Uh, have you seen? What's the last movie you went to like the theaters to watch? I want to go see Guardians of the Galaxy, but didn't have time. The last one I saw was uh, The Life with Jake uh, Gyllenhaal, which is uh, actually my favorite actor right now, besides uh, DiCaprio oh, and Jake McConaughey. Gyllenhaal? Yeah, yeah, he, yeah th that yeah. guy is just awesome. I mean, every single film, he's just killing it. And I, I mean, I love the whole story. I don't know if you watched it. It's, uh, I've not watched it yet. No, I have not. It's like sci-fi alien thing. Uh, okay. Like cute little alien. Uh, they <laughs> po they poke it with uh, um, some uh, electricity because uh, he's um, goes in kind of inactive state and uh, then he goes like madman killing mode. That's the long story short. Okay then. Well, I guess I don't need to see it. I like Jake. No, you should. Oh, I should yeah. go see it. Yeah, you should go see. It. All right. I think the last movie I went and saw was Doctor Strange, so it's been a while for me. Yeah, it was okay. Yeah. Uh, what else is there? <laughs> There's Alien. That's kind of remake. I, I don't know. Well, you live in Hollywood. Uh, why do they remake so much movies? I mean, can they make... Money, dude. Yeah, but Money. Uh, but who who's watching the movies? Like, uh, there there are a lot of people who don't watch the, the people who want to see. It's like the same way. Like when they make like the movie Expendables. Do you know the movie Expendables? With, like all the action stars. And, uh, yes, uh, I don't watch those kind of a movie. Uh, uh, that's I was the thing. That's, that's why it's like they, they you know it's good. It's like I grew up watching Sylvester Stallone and Arnold Schwarzenegger badass action movies, and then you grow, and then and then they get too old to make those movies, or those movies are not making money anymore. But, you know, yeah, fuck those movies. We gotta we gotta cast Dota. Like, how yeah. come my thing is freaking now? Hold on a second. Well, here. Uh, well oh, yeah, shit, the, these movies were fun when uh, I was like 10 years old. Yeah. I was forced well, to watch Fast and Furious, the last movie, and uh, oh god. You didn't I, like I'm it? Not, no, no. I didn't there's see this, it yet. There's this black guy who's like super hilarious, and uh, yeah. that's it. Like, and, and Okay, well, I mean, it made a lot of money at least. Good for them. I haven't seen it yet. I'm bad. I don't go out. I don't like to spend a lot of money in theaters. I'm like, hey, you know, I got my own little personal theater at home. And unless it's a movie, like, I have to go see, then uh, I kind of just wait for it to come out. I'm a bitch, you know, so. Let's get into the game right now. We're finally underway. Uh, did they unpause just because of the time it was ran out? It looks like he made it back into the game, so uh, whatever the case may be. It looks like we got a new computer underway. I don't think there's going to be any more pause time awarded. We're finally going to get started. And uh, we can see what's going to be in store for us here. It's, it's going to be King RD hanging as a babysitter here in the tree. In the top lane, hanging with his bro HFN on the Weaver once again. We got Moo Naga going to be hanging on the offlane setup with Z Freak on the Undying. So indeed, looking to play things a little bit more aggressive. Fira once again going to be playing on the Ember Spirit. Bottom lane, Swindle Legion Commander. And it's going to be Demon on the Warlock. Hey, Lacoste, you never get to introduce teams. You want to introduce your Brazilian bros? SG? Uh, no, I'll wait for the for the next the day, for tomorrow. Yeah, for the full HFN. A lot of damage. Uh, they were not able... No, they were able to kind of move in and sneak up three of the four words. Uh, wards, rather. Runes. Oh my goodness, it's going to be a, a tough game. That pause did a number on me, apparently. Three bounties taken from Cole on this one. And uh, as they start their aggressive lane, they already rotate over C14, and it's going to be a, a try on try lane here. And they're already kind of laying it on thick here for Z Freak. He's going to have to waddle himself all the way back. Uh, I'm not sure you can count. That's actually three against two, but all oh, right. Maybe I, Naga, I Naga had like one illusion mirror image, and no, she didn't, but all right. <laughs> Well, the, the, they should force uh, Naga Siren out of that lane pretty soon, or just kill Undying. They're just beating the ass out of both of them. Not even just singly focusing one and trying to go for a kill. They're just equally beating them both down and making sure they can't hang in the lane at all. 
So they went with a duo kind of a setup. Is there any chance they could leave Swindle in the bottom lane and bring Demon up there? Is that the not appropriate rotation to make? Mm, or is I don't Cole think... just going to have to you know, accept the fact that they're probably not going to be winning the top lane? Uh, what uh, Cole can do, they can switch to their top lane to bottom, which would be better. But uh, Warlock has a TP and uh, can just try to go top. I don't think the, the Naga will get any farm on the top lane, though. That's the thing. Plus Sunstrike. This is trial lane against the double lane plus a Sunstrike from oh. Invoker. They try to move in to plant down their own sentry ward. It gets quickly taken back. They get sprayed with some bugs and scared out of the lane I'll briefly. They already used their shrine to kind of get themselves back into fighting shape. If they come back into this lane just to get beaten down once again, then it's going to be a, a tough pill to swallow here for Cole. But they're swinging. They actually almost got King RD down. He's going to be able to get the invis and walk away. Oh, Ooh, missed the DK. Miss. He tried to go for the DK kill, but did not guess appropriately. They're still swinging. Now they see C14. They're going to make their move in with the ensnare, and they'll get it done. Z Freak stacking in all that strength was able to punch it home. Well, yeah, you can't man fight against 24 DK undying. He has uh, 100 plus damage. It's off a rip. Heals up a bit. That's when King RD steps in for the lead seed. The level twos are now starting to come out. Things continue to get frisky at the top. Uh, I want to quickly scope out this mid lane, though. We finally get our Invoker, and uh, he is 13-5 and five in his matchup against Firo at the moment, who's currently 10-1, and one, as expecting the Invoker to kind of get the heavier advantage. Only has a single null at the moment with components of the second. Yeah, it's coming uh, to him. He, he didn't have enough money to buy the hole, so he just uh, brought uh, what he had. He's got it now. Oh, Firo picking up the region rune. This is uh, really good for him. Plus, he, uh, he has a shrine. He didn't want to use shrine that early, so he TP'd. Uh, he actually went to the base, used the uh, shrines, and uh, came back. Speaking of heading to base and coming back, same goes for Z freaking Moo. Back to base to heal up. Back to the top lane between the two of them once again to take on the tri lane of SG. Bottom lane, it's been Swindle, kind of hanging out with Demon. He's got second high CS, 20 and 3, only losing out to HFN. Uh, don't want to move away too far from that top lane, as you see. They get the back end as the Weaver goes down. This is really the lane to be at. Uh, yeah, well, uh, Naga Siren with that uh, end snare, getting two kills because of it. Uh, still no, not a point in mirror image, really good uh, skilling. For him and the Triant is really playing like super ballsy. There's no region left on Weaver. He just bought four more tangos so he can sustain on the lane. Bottom lane, uh, level four uh, Legion Commander against level four Sanking. It's hard for Sanking to be there actually. He's just uh, getting some uh, XP. He has enough CS, but it's hard to trade hits against uh, Legion Commander with uh, level two Moment of Courage plus uh, Orb of Venom. Yeah. So they'll kind of try to go for a win-win. Top sun of the strike. Oak, setting it up with a sun strike. Burrow just comes up short. Swindle Whoa. will quickly get off the heel and run to safety. That was close. Oh. Mid lane, Trin Protector Invis. I've been hanging around here for a while now. But uh, no setup to be had. It looks like Firo is going to be blessed with the DD rune there at the top. As he quickly bottles it up for himself. And the attention will return to the top lane. Demon now going to be joining Complexity up here. Zefri popping the dust. They'll get the ensnare onto HFN. There's the Riptide. They need a bit more, though. He's, under attack. he's running, and he's going to be going to the arms of C42, who has a grave waiting just in case. So just bullying him back a bit. Yeah, with the Demon TPing on top with that extra heal and poor man's shield on Naga, plus they have Ring of Basilius for that extra two armor for everyone. Uh, they are looking strong right now. Trin Protector being on mid, trying to get a kill on Ember Spirit before he gets level 6 with that bash slow. Should be enough if uh, he pushes the lane with the Ember Spirit. He's at half of his life right now, but the setup is not easy at the moment here. And I don't know how much longer King RD wants to kind of wait around without getting too much done. It looks like he's already going to begin to take his business elsewhere, it would appear. And uh, z Freak will be able to head back and grab up the bounty. So lane order has been kind of reestablished a bit 
and more comfortable uh, for complexity at the moment, but uh, it is currently SG are kind of winning the CS game with both Invoker and HFN being at the top. Moose like holding his own and kind of doing okay on the Naga, but you know still trails behind a little bit. Well, if they want to make a go, uh, oh, Ooh. Weaver. Ooh, fatal bonds. He's gonna need a grave. He gets it. He needs another heal as well. He'll get that too. And it looks like he'll be able to hold on. Very scary situation to get thrown into. Can't play a little over aggressive. And Arcane Boots are going to get finished for the Naga. Benefits the lane a lot. She instantly hands out the mana to everybody else. King RD, though, is back in the top lane, and he is right on top of Demon here. And we have a little bit of state. He's going to make his move. Dives in. And Stare also comes out from Cole. He's engaged on this three on two without the Dazzle close by. They're going to get the Leech Seed off, and they're going to take down Demon. King RD looks to head back. That's when he decided to pop the dust and move on the chase here. And him and the zombies do enough damage to get the finish. It'll be the new decay. He turns around. But it's over. Three so gets the takedown. Moves on to a killing spree already. Claiming all three of the kills for complexity. Yeah, we wish, wish Naga had all those kills. Undying, though. Arcane boots from all those three kills. Double arcane boots so they can sustain on the lane. Uh, spam uh, their spells. Dying is getting a lot of levels there. I I'm thinking about uh, once that tombstone is maxed, uh, I'll we'll see what Warlock buys, but in the late game with upheaval plus a slow from zombies, that, that could be like really deadly. Also, one thing I didn't mention, uh, once uh, Naga uses sleep and tombstone, the zombies just start to spawn, yep. and, then, and then you unsleep. They catch uh, HF and Weaver and crossing and just blow him up. Firo in the area hits him with the remnants where it hurts and he's going to be taken down. But it costs a demon warlock at the same time in the bottom lane. Obviously the much prizier pickoff being this Weaver. Also allows Complexity to get some good damage in on this tier 1 too. Rotation's bottom lane though is King RD is hoping for maybe a potential setup on the Swindle Melons who's gotten his duel now. Yeah, Here another Sun Strike in 5 seconds. No bash, but they do have the epicenter here. That with the leech seed and a sunstrike. Just misses the mark, but they're still going to be able to get it. Swindle Melons does go down, and SG even the game back up once again, 4-4. Four to four. Yeah, uh, they need to try to fight at the top tower. They don't want to lose tier tower uh, this early, uh, especially when you have a 3 and Do they have a glyph? No. All this uh, tower is going to go down. This is really big when you're playing against Riant uh, to take at least one tier 1 tower down before minute 15. Yeah. And they... It becomes a lot harder once the levels begin to come together. And uh, for a lot of the trees, and, and in King RD's case also here, putting more of that priority into the nature's guise means that it's going to take that much longer for the living armor to be able to do a lot of that defensive, reconstructive work. So any chance that you can get these towers down before that living armor gets leveled up is going to be all the sweeter here. And Complexity already doing so in the top tier one and haven't let up a bit. They're just going to keep this dynamic duo between Z Freak and Mu going through this top lane and just simply have Demon rotate elsewhere because he's got to start getting closer to that level six. Yeah, Z Freak uh, getting a lot of levels. Level 6 by 10 minute mark on Undying, that's, that, that's really impressive. There was a lot of fights which benefit him a lot. They are pinging on the Swindle here as he's getting stalked currently by King RD, but it looks like they've been able to see even a better target in Firo nearby. They set it up with a good Tavo Burrow strike, and then the Sun Strike will be there for ADR. Oh, and King RD taking that last uh, last hit to get him level 6 overgrowth with level 3 nature's guys. Uh, now they can do some serious damage uh, combined with the uh, sun strike plus uh, sanking uh, blink is going to come up in the next 2-3 minutes. And he's going to go right for the, the Midas as well and he's finding some pretty good timing on it. That is actually pretty scary. Well, probably a blink and Agnum's later. I don't know. Yeah, when you're Press. playing against uh, uh, Naga, you know the game is going to go past 30 minutes mark if you don't lose. It's hard to beat Naga, uh, so you always have a secured late game with it. It's good to have as many Midas as possible when playing against Naga. 
That's a very early one, too. Swindle to the bottom lane now. Yet to start getting some dual damage going, but they don't really have a, a lineup that is ready to make dual damage kills happen right away, you know? I mean, gotta at least wait for Demon's Rock to come online, but outside of that, it's, you know, you're baking on you and Firo maybe getting the work in. That will become a lot easier once his Veil is complete, so we might be waiting a little bit before we see this Legion Commander able to kind of bring in some dual work. Well, yeah, Veil with uh, all the magic damage from Undying, overwhelming odds, uh, and uh, Naga Siren Radiance, Riptide, that's uh, a really good pickup on uh, on Ember Spirit. It'll amplify a lot, it's just until that comes online, the, the damage output from Cole doesn't feel like the, the strongest thing. It's just, again, just a lot that is going to need a lot of loving, a lot of items and build up to work with. Certainly the Naga, obviously. While, uh, what are we going to be looking at here for SG to kind of get done? Ooh, Tavo's Blink Dagger actually is done. Yeah, He has yeah. that now. They will make a move, uh, try to find a kill when the Blink Dagger is up. He doesn't have enough mana. If he uses Magic Wand, it, it should be enough for, okay, 10 more mana. And he'll go in, cast it with uh, Sunstrike, should be enough. He is He's currently... time to go. He's here going we go. in. Boom! Hits it up with the epicenter. There's the burrow. There's the sun strike. And that is clean cut debut of the Blink Dagger. Bottom lane, though. They might get a good trade, and they will. There's your first duel of the game, and it's going to be on a nice target. HFN's Weaver is going to be decimated in the bottom. Yeah, uh, the, uh, Weaver with uh, Hand of Midas uh, against Naga. As I mentioned, uh, you want to have late game as much as you can with those items. Uh, but um, uh, this game, uh, Lincoln Sphere is really good. It's always good to have Lincoln's against LC. It's good against uh, later on when uh, Soul Rip is level 4. So, good stuff to remove. Cole now can take this moment to step back and wait, but uh, as they move around their side of the map, this tree has been able to get down those pretty nice deep wards. So between the vision that SG have very deep and, and the ones they'll keep on their side, they have a pretty good grip on what's happening across the map right now. And uh, they'll use it as they see fit. But it looks like it's still farm time here. You know, with the Midas is coming online from SG and not too much extra pressure pushing in for these tier ones. They're just accepting it's also going to be a late game. Ooh, narrowly avoiding the engagement from Swindle. Tava will be able to burrow strike away from any trouble. Yeah, now they know Legion Commander has a blink dagger, so they will be more careful. Uh, seems like both teams don't want to take any more fights. It more favors uh, complexity until Naga gets his, the Radiance up. She's still far away from it, 2.3k gold. Uh, on the other side, SG wants to make a move. Blink Dagger sanking, Sunstrike uh, plus Invoker has his uh, Aghanim Scepter finished. Let's we'll see what they can do. Tavo leading out the front. He's got Epicenter and everything ready to go. There are some Cole members right in the mid. There's going to be the lead in Burrow. Sunstrike's also there. Z Freak eats a hard shot. Demon, though, able to set up a pretty good rock on top while Swindle gets off the dual finish onto the Dazzle. Taking him out of the fight right away. This looks great for complexity as they take over the mid lane and now push it for this tier one. They got hard committed in for Z Freak, but maybe we're not anticipating so much. But look at the counter. Here comes the epic Blinken from Tavo. Gets good connection onto two. Both Demon and Swindle will end up getting dropped on this one. Now the Tornado is going to be out. HFN looking to sweep on in. Gets the chains off, makes it to the high ground. Z Freak makes his return, goes into the ulti and starts dishing out the decay. But they get the stun connection and the meatball drop onto Firo. Hit him with a deafening blast and one more right click and he will get dropped. Just as complexity were actually turning the fight over in their favor, it's going to be SG who get the cleanup at the end. Tavo, he's just a beast on this hero. He is not afraid to use uh, uh, that epicenter. Even though they, they lost two heroes uh, with just Sunstrike and Weaver coming from the side, they had more than enough damage to actually take a fight. Complexity was feeling uh, okay taking that fight. Oh, no duel though. Oh, and it looks like SG are going to be able to creep in with a favorable fight and a tier one. Put an arcane on top of it as a cherry and you are going to be having a sweet treat 
SG got to be feeling pretty damn swell here. We'll take an early peek at the net worth after that. And you can see that's now pushed them past a 5k net worth advantage. Yeah, still Naga struggling to get that uh, Radiance up. Uh, she didn't die yet, uh, but... Uh, so what's didn't... the struggle then? Is it not being yeah. able to utilize a lot of the farm on the map? Is it not being taking fights? Like, why is she not able to kind of meet that fast item quota we see? Oh, there was no um, free farm on the lane. Plus, uh, a lot of us committed on top lane and uh, she only got the assist gold. Uh, Zombie got all the kills, but it's still gonna be a good timing. I mean, she didn't have the perfect lane. So right now with level 4 mirror image, uh, she can start farming all the map. Things will become a lot safer for her, but uh, still didn't put that level into song yet. So if she does get caught out, it will be a bit tricky for her to make it out from trouble. Currently yeah. getting stalked by King RD at the moment. Yeah, but uh, when you're focusing Naga, you you think she she doesn't need the skill it because people think you have it. That's the thing. Fair enough, I could see but that mind. No game. mana sanking is going oh, in. Oh, now they'll really learn she doesn't have a song. Yeah, but she gets she gets simply evaporated before there was even a chance to sing any song. Oh oh oh! Try Remnant on in, and he's still gonna be able to get the grave off, and then TP away from trouble. They will catch him with the train the the chains though. And Fear will ultimately get the kill in the end, but a simple little Dazzle takedown doesn't really feel as tasty as the Naga that they had lost previous to that. Again, Dazzle with kind of a late TP, the same one from the lane. Uh, Ember Spirit committed everything. After Searing Chains, he should just uh, Grave and TP out. Try to even force a rock if, if they want to cast it. Shouldn't cast it, but uh, sometimes maybe they do it. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Back at bottom lane, we see Z-Freak uh, getting a bit of solo farm time. Maybe trying to get a second level in that ulti. And at least fend off uh, ADR's heavy-handed push while mid lane, Tavo. Fending away Firo from extra pressure onto his own tier one. He sets up the Burrow Strike, but then quickly gets burnt up a bit. Yeah, I love the build on uh, Sanking. He also went for Midas. Uh, that's the third Midas on the SG, and uh, he went for, oh, big duel, another free damage for Legion Commander. Quick takedown of the Dazzle in the mid lane, it would appear, as uh, this makes it easier now to be able to take a follow-up fight without having to worry about the Grave save being there. We'll be back in about 10 seconds' time. Look like possible pressure for Tier 1, but Complexity takes it a bit safer and decides to pull away. Careful about uh, his positioning. He should not be trying to farm or anything uh, unless he has an eye on Ember Spirit and uh, Legion Commander. He should just stay as far as he can from the fight. HFN shows himself here in the bottom lane. There's a couple of complexity members, but nothing they can really do about it for now. Complexity have been really able to kind of take control of their side of the ha of the map. They have a, some good obs, pretty much traversing down the riverside to see anyone who does dare cross, keeping things safe on the side for Moo to be able to get the finish buildup of his Naga. Radiance in hand now, obviously looking to kind of move on forward and getting finished for boots to travel and such. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing uh, Naga farming for the next 30-40 uh, oh, yes. minutes. It's always an exciting time, but yeah, as you say, we want to get a I'm win so glad she made Radiance. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got to get a win in game number three. Can't really fault him for that. See as they can uh, try to nog their way into doing so. Peter was going to pocket up a nice little regen that had been waiting oh, for him there at the Oh, if Demon top, shows but, up, uh, he's dead. He does show up, and uh, he goes for an immediate TP, but that is not going to happen. Tavo's there with the burrow, and he gets quickly taken out as the trap had been sprung there by SG. Yeah, plus they killed uh, the lane ward they had. Okay, Legion Commander with the... Uh, Shadow Blade before uh, Blade Mail. As I mentioned, he will need to get uh, during the pick phase. I said he will need to get Shadow Blade as fast as he can to get uh, the better view of the Dazzle. Just try to go around because that's his priority. 
Okay, so Dazzle learned his lesson. After Searing Chains are done, he just TPs right away. You can't yeah. fool him three, three times. Yeah, this time he'll be forgiven and look like uh, Firo actually headed out, expecting that to be the case. Nonetheless, Swindle Invis mid lane with a Blink Decker good to go, but King D RD is also on their side and could be able to kind of stock him. The Burrow comes out and the move has been made, but the Counter Rock is also going to get dropped. There goes the root. King RD tries to walk away from the trouble, and Complexity head the other direction just as Firo tries to remnant it. He gets hit with a Tornado EMP combo, and he'll be stopped right there. Complexity cannot push themselves further past the river after committing these big ulties. Yeah, everything that was committed, uh, uh, no casualties though. I said uh, when we saw the first four picks, uh, these fast, the, these uh, fights were gonna last long because of, because of it. We saw Undying, like Undying went from uh, 200 HP to full HP in uh, two seconds. Just uh, Soul Rip, uh, press the attack, Warlock heal, he's good to go. No question in the uh, sustain here for complexity as they're able to take some shots and then quickly heal up and move on forward. Uh, Swindle's already been able to pick up his Shadow Blade, but look what he has slated to come up next, the Halberd. Yeah, that's uh, uh, for the Nerubian Weaver because of uh, he saw Perseverance, so it must be a Lincoln Sphere and uh, people tried to cast it from the Shadow Blade, remove Lincoln's, cast a duel. Also, uh, Invoker showing his ultimate orb, so it's gonna be another another Lincoln Sphere. They don't have uh, anything to pop Lincoln's with besides uh, Soul Rip and uh, Fatal Bonds, but th these spells are kind of hard to, to cast. Soul Rip, yes, uh, Fatal Bonds, you don't want to waste it. Very true. I don't know if they're gonna have the funds to afford. It looks like a Glimmer Cape is gonna be there for Z Freak next. And the crest for Demon. Bottom lane, Tavo gets the stun in. Swindle Mullen's going to be forced back, but they get the TP rotation here from Firo. Yeah, and this Undying also preparing himself for the late game. He he got to level 10 pretty quickly. And oh! Uh, immediate setup duel, and they're going to get the Dazzle down just a bit out of position. Trying to move in and join the rest of his team. He's going to be taken care of. The Burrow also comes out. This one, though, not good from Tavo. Hoping that there was going to be a continuous engagement from Cole, but Cole had pulled away. Yeah, the uh, Dazzle again feeding some uh, damage to Legion Commander. I think the, everything he had got from Dazzle. He, he should be careful. He should uh, let uh, Train Protector board enemy forest, and he should just try to get something in the his own forest. So just try not to die and get uh, level 9 at least for max level of on Shallow Grave. I don't know if it'll be granted that kind of time. Already Cole's back at the mid lane, pressuring once Radiant again. And uh, the Dazzle is going to need to be there for assistance. And RD has no route available yet to kind of set things up. But he can dance out there in front a little bit. Bottom lane, Swindle. Weaver was here alone trying to push the lane. He's looking to set things up for Firo to help him get the finish, and they will. Good coordination there from Cole, but SG are looking to capitalize on that. When they see the two at the bottom, they look to move in on the mid lane, and uh, they will be able to get a hold of Z-Freak. But the one Z-Freak kill for HFN is a nicer trade for Cole, without a doubt. Yeah, this Invoker, level 21, Lincoln's, Agonims, BOT's finished. Uh, what does he have? Well, he has 30% XP gain. That 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 talent. Uh, if you want to like uh, finish the game, it's good to hit uh, level. Oh, another solo kill. Uh, yep. I was I was saying uh, if you want to finish the game earlier, you go for that 30% XP talent. Uh, but Invoker hits uh, level 25 pretty fast, so it's better to go for Ford Spirit, especially in the game against Naga. You know this game's gonna last long. Yep. She is uh, working closer to getting that Octarine core done. But uh, still needs some time. All during that time, while SG were able to invade, they got more of those pretty deep offensive wards planted for themselves. Kind of scouting out where maybe the Naga could be rotating over and dealing with it at this point in the game. But uh, 
are pulling off at least a little bit for now. We still have a couple of tier one and tier two hanging at the top lane here. I mean, if you're going against a Naga lineup. How long do you wait if you're SG before you kind of get stuff done? Or are they just hoping to meet him in the late game? It looks like the bottom tree illusion is going to be taken care of there. But Well, well <laughs> Naga is not that strong at the, at the moment. Uh, well, she actually decides to go for full soul booster and arcane boots. So he just wasted 900 gold. Yeah, I've been confused. I checked him in the first... I know he had already bought an arc a bot arcane boots and I tuned in and he didn't have his arcane boots anymore now he does so I I'm not sure what happened maybe accidentally or purposely sold his his old yeah, then, no, there's no arcanes boots. to get the, the radiance faster I'm not too sure I wasn't there to see it but does he have a song now because uh, yeah. he does oh my he does God. He walks in, this Roche is almost dead. They're gonna move in and try to go for the finish, maybe, but it doesn't take enough time, and HFN is gonna be able to get the finish and snag up the Aegis regardless. And now the fight breaks out, and it's gonna be 40 yard, looking to weasel out the other way. The Tavo commitment of the epicenter to chase down Moo, and they should be able to get the Naga taken apart. She gets hit with a glimmer, and it gets hit with the soul rip, but it's not gonna be good enough. Zfrick should be going down next. And it's a scramble for Complexity to be able to make it out. Firo tries to re-engage. They are going to be able to bring down two from SG. And are going to be able to force out the Aegis. Do Cole want to stay in play here? Uh, I don't think Cole should fight anymore. Nice tornado oh. connection right there. With the Sunstrike Deafening Blast, they are going to snipe Demon down. Are they chasing more Firo just deeping out? Uh, that was a really, really good timing for that song. Plus, again, Dazzle caught out by Legion Commander. He needs to be super careful. Uh, all right, Dazzle said enough is enough. Has uh, Gem of True Sight queued up. That's smart. Him getting taken out of these fights and not being able to be there with those graves is, uh, is a little tough. It worked out okay this time for, for SG given the situation. Again, a great song, but uh, maybe Cole not in the appropriate position to be able to move in there and get the Roche snipe in Aegis. Now possibly in trouble again. Dazzle just constantly strutting his stuff in the mid lane. Standing in the front lane. <laughs> yeah. It's like suspicious how aggressive <laughs> he's being that Cole don't want to do anything about it. Well, he got caught four or five times, so maybe they think it's uh, another stupid move by Dazzle, but uh, they didn't fall for it this time. Uh, also good uh, pickup by Sanking, that Yule Scepter, once uh, Legion Commander uses uh, Duel, he should just uh, toss him in the air, but uh, there was still no no trace of that in the fight, he, Dazzle just dies too fast. Call will take their full party now towards the top lane here to kind of ransack all of the SG jungle for some farm for Boo, it looks like here. His Naga still needs some precious time. She Look how far she still falls behind in the net worth to where SG stand. This Invoker is getting closer to that 20k net worth mark. That is, he's currently 4k. Yeah, well, well, that should not happen, Seven. but it's also his uh, item build. That, that, that's why he doesn't have that much farm. He just, okay, we, we mentioned that he went for arcane boots, wasted another 900 gold, but he needs uh, BOTs before that so he can uh, farm more efficiently. And he's under level, he's level 14. And we're finding a situation now where it's SG beginning to creep into the high ground push. HFN is already going in. We saw this in the last game where he was able to nearly take down the tier 3 himself. A glyph is going to be forced already out from Cole and. That is when SG decide to pump the brakes a little bit and pull off. They ping out their top lane, and it looks like they'll head that way to take care of business. I'll take your middle tower. Yeah, but this is super good for SG. Over a 10k net worth lead at the moment. Well, yeah, and this Naga is falling behind. The Octarine core is finished. Uh, okay, he had to disassemble mana boots, and it sold... Uh, Sold it for 450 gold, so he has enough gold for Octarine Core. At least it's something, I guess. Looks like they've been able to spot out a little HFN Weaver here. Nicely set up from Swindle to get that duel in. Vero unloads all of his remnants to be able to ensure the kill, and yeah. they will get their pick. A good place from Swindles. We talked about that Heaven's Halberd, and now it's kicking in. 
SG going to be a bit on edge now if they're trying to farm through their own jungle, it looks like. They're still hanging up here. Salvo shows himself in lane. He could be in trouble. He blinks it with a burrow back, but he still gets hit with the chains. A root will be forced out from King RD. And Tavo is dancing around a bit as help is coming in. The Invoker is rotated over. It looks like SG are thinking about a chase, but King RD can't quite get close enough. This is why I love that blink dagger on the tree. So you can kind of close the distance a bit easier, but it looks like Cole will be able to make it away. They didn't manage to catch anyone. They had good vision from uh, Train Protector, but Legion Commander blink out. Uh, they're oh, they're trying a song for the Dazzle, and they can't even get a hold of him. C4T gets the, finally a laugh himself now after being manhandled too many times trying to TP away. He actually avoids the song altogether. Oh, Jimmy almost dying to Sunstrike. Mid lane. Oh, another possible pick off here and a good setup again from Swindle. Allows them to get the Evoker down. HFN committing it with a time lapse already. Under yeah, step they, on away. they have gem of true side. They should move together. Uh, it's on treant, and uh, they should take advantage of it. To try to catch that uh, legion commander. Instead, they're just giving away more and more damage. That's legion commander, what does he have? 500 damage on him right now with the double damage. Yeah, he hits a truck at the moment. But uh, here, uh, Cole. Thinking about still dancing around the tier one, suddenly a quick stun, and Z Freak almost loses his life by the sheer damage that HFN can output. Follow up, Root's gonna be there from King RD, but here comes the counter rocking and drop down from Demon the Rock Johnson. Now on top of the head, and the Legion Commander gonna get burst apart. The epicenter comes out from Tavo and shreds work across Cole. Re-engagement comes out from Firo as he gets a good remnant play, sealing out the finish onto King RD, but it is SG who hit it a bit harder this time. Firo, though, still swinging about with Tavo a bit while the Rockman is chasing down C4T. Him and that Radiance Burn oh, is going to get the himself. job done. But here comes HFN and Tavo making chase for Firo now. And uh, he's trying desperately to break away from this bug creep and make it away, but eventually it is going to be his end. Tavo picks it up. He got a killing spree now. All of complexity go down with the exception of Mu. SG will sport a new burst of net worth. Yeah, there was Rock committed the good grave by Dazzle. This time also Train Protector with a play went from behind, got good uh, overgrowth. And uh, yeah, that uh, gem is really doing a good work right now. Plus there's Pipe of Insight finished on Treant. Uh, good to counter Radiance. They can actually blink out. Uh, when the pipe is on. What do you do with this kind of momentum now if you're SG and you're still going against this kind of Naga lineup? Is there any reason for them to pull off? Or is it a matter of just waiting out for the Roche now and then go, go, go? They should wait for the Roche, wait for the BKB on Invoker so they can uh, actually secure the Roche with it if they have a good vision. With the gem, they can devoid everything, but if they try to go with a song, you can just uh, BKB and finish the Roche. Very true. We're going to keep things a bit more secure. Continue to scope it out, but uh, gentlemen, we still have 15 seconds before Roche may respawn. But they have plans to do something else here. They smoke and wrap themselves up and through the top lane. Currently, Cole are actually all uh, hanging about through this mid lane area. Could possibly be approached here now as SG head that direction. Nearby is Moo. He pops out the song. He catches everybody. Everyone's caught inside the song. Is there anything Cole can do with this? They've dropped down the tombstone. A minor overwhelming odds, but now the route will come out. And as they are frantically spread, you're going to see the duel on one side, and they're going to be able to get the quick finish onto Tavo. A nice lead in for Cole on this one, and they fight from the other side. But look at HFN moving in and just the thunder crushing right through him as the Maelstrom just continues to proc. Swindle forced to hide under his invis and run away. Who is already gone out without a buyback and it looks like they may be able to get Z-Freak too. They catch him with a nice little tornado. Lay down the ice wall. Coming in from behind though is going to be Firo and Swindle trying to get the pick on the King RD. There's going to be the rock drop onto three of them. But HFN is just doing way too much damage at this point and he is destroying everything in front of him. 
The gem had been put on the ground, but it looks like it could be claimed from SG. Or not, he could have put the uh, Ogre Club out. Oh, there's the chicken picking it up. It. All right, they take it back. Looked really promising for Cole, a good song, five-man song. There was also uh, Tombstone from uh, Undying, uh, but uh, there was no rock in that fight. It, it was not ready yet, so... What they a shame, too. Yeah. I mean, that could have been the godliest of plays there. A beautiful song set up, but it, yeah, again, kind of one of those situations where Mu was going to get caught if he didn't song, too, just with, with the positioning he was. Top lane, Firo. Looking to chop down a tree. Jumps right on back the second he feels a little bit of extra pressure coming. But this is Cole with their backs are starting to get pushed up against that wall, man. 18 to 23 doesn't sound a whole lot, but when you look at the net worth, it looks bad. 15k plus of a net worth advantage for SG in a game three situation where winner goes on to playoffs and loser is done. You know something is wrong when your Naga at level 37 minute is level 16 and has uh, less net worth, almost less net worth than uh, Sanking. Some, something is not right, unfortunately. Again, I don't know really what went how with all the arcane boot situation of buying and rebuying, but uh, obviously being nerfed down a bit in the farm and the laying situation they set her up with wasn't really allowing her to bring in a lot of that early CS. Wow, wow, we wow. Weaver items. That Mjolnir is doing so much damage, triggering from Radiance, from um, all those uh, zombies, uh, Fatal Bonds. Th th yeah. That's a lot of Mjolnir procs. And uh, also, he has a full MKB right now. So, no Solar Crest can stop it, no Radiance no, miss. No Halberd. Yeah, no it's Halberd, great. yes. Very nice. HFN. Yeah. HFN always making uh, good items on his Weaver. Yesterday I mentioned something about BKB being more secure of a build uh, uh, instead of uh, Manta style, but also they managed to win that game very easily. I'm not always the smartest guy, you know. There, there are people who are smarter than me, for no, example. Don't say that. There, there are people who are playing Dota right now. I'm just talking about it. Those people playing Dota are smarter. Ooh. Ooh dancing around here, Firo. Avoids getting in a, too much of a tussle there with SG as they dish out the, the bugs. Now possibly looking for a clash in the river. Swindle begins to head up that way as Moo's illusion is stalking him a bit. Z Freak also there, but... No chase will be had. Do not look to head into a dark high ground tear, you know, situation. It's probably not for the best. 3.5k also sitting in the pocket of, of ADR Lacoste. Where, where do you go from here if you're in the Invoker now? It looks like he's at pretty critical mass with the exception of just getting rid of the Midas and pulling in something else. Yeah, he, he didn't go for Blink because of um, he wanted to tank up uh, in that Lincoln Sphere and he can't uh, Blink against... Uh, Radiance and the Fatal Bonds, it's hard, so... Wow, that Roche went down so fast, it... Like, they couldn't even get the Naga Illusions in to scout things out before they wanted to kind of step in with a song play or anything. It does not matter, they get the Roche real quick, and... A BKB was actually already committed on the Invoker too. There goes the EMP, nice stun connection from Tavo from low to high ground with the epicenter is going to be there. And they're looking to try to take out Demon as fast as possible, he gets the heal to run away. And now the focus is going to be on Swindle. The Lotus Orb helps a little bit for now, and so does the Song. But are they going to be able to scramble enough distance between themselves and SG to get to safety? It does not feel like it. Swindle and his brother z -Freak head up north away from trouble. Moo's getting chased down now and connected with a nice stun again from Tavo. And HFN just unloads and takes out the Naga. She is out nearly a minute without a buyback available. This could be it for Cole. If things continue, Demon tries to go for a TP, but he gets shut down too. And now it's Zesty's time to parade their way down into the complexity base. They still have 30 seconds to siege away without a Naga. Is this it, Lacoste? Are Complexity yeah. about to get knocked out? Yeah, Complexity is about to get knocked out. This Naga is really not doing uh, much damage in a team fight with all those heals, pipe finished uh, on Treant Protector. They 
Invoker popped BKB just to secure the Roche. They even took a fight and uh, still won it. Didn't even lose Aegis. Big epicenter by Tavo and uh, Borrow Strike. Easy to to borrow from. The, he, he was standing so far behind, but he has Aghanim Scepter. All right, here it is. What could be the final hurrah for Complexity as it's going to be Swindle jumping in, looking to go for the duel. Can he get the finish on the tree? No, he goes down. He will hand over the bit of damage, and this could be the whole game unraveling now. ADR looking to move in and push back Z Freak. King RD able to step back, hide within the tree, and it's HFN grinding away, getting rid of all the pesky and nautical illusions, and going for the win. The song does come out, trying to slow them down. ADR with that BKB pop, still getting latched under the ensnare, but they look to go for the re-engage. The stun is there, Moose almost gone, and it is out. No buyback for him, he's gonna be dead once again. These Raxes should be falling, and this game could be over. Stun yeah. onto Z Freak. He's out too. He does have a buyback. He'll have to use it, but it's all him and Firo in any sort of defense. But with two Raxes already down, this one is certainly over. He just wants to die, but can't, can't die. He'll finally get his wish and be able to come back with a full set of health and mana. Meanwhile, Z Freak on his potential dieback here, getting caught up with the Where's the combo. grave? There it Firo is. Firo moves in, tries to go for the finish, but as mentioned, the grave will be there. And that's the end of Firo, and this seems to be the end of Complexity. And the first yet. summit in a while that they will not be able to at least make it to the qualifier grand final. It's going to be SG, the first team to represent South America in the playoffs. Well, Cole still not uh, calling the GG. Agent is under HFN is trying to get it done. Demon will step in with his final rock to slow them down. A nice finish will be there from Swindle. And that will be the end of Tavo. Uh, maybe calling it too soon here. Complexity still looking to hold on and survive. They've lost two set of racks, but they are not tapping out. This is a 33k net worth advantage for SG. I don't think there's ever been a game where you could come back from a, a disadvantage like that. But Cole, when really you have nothing else left, it's time to just throw yourselves down the mid lane and give it all you got. Yeah, it's all in. You need to take that tier one tower on mid. That that's not an all in. <laughs> I don't even know if they'll be able to make it towards the tier two before trouble could come. Already, SG have healed up and uh, could quickly converge onto any complexity stragglers. Ooh, yeah, they actually got the dust off. Scout out the tree here, but uh, here's HFM. Ooh. Pump fake back with this time lapse. Well, a good thing for complexity is they still have tier two tower on uh, on top because uh, SG would have just gone top and take uh, mega creeps instead of uh, just uh, hunting them to the fountain. All right, so let's talk about perfect scenario. How how does uh, Cole oh, win boy. from here? You get another five-man song, five-man fatal bond with a five-man rock, with a five-man slight, five-man overrailing wads. Slow, yeah. Five-man tombstone, and like four, four rips or decays rather <laughs> that you uh, got to premeditate before the fight. Yeah, I, there is, there is, there is a perfect case scenario which involves probably SG definitely making a lot of mistakes. I don't think the... Okay, so th this is it. Uh, Cole smoked. They're pinging mid. They want to... Oh, the the other option is better. They're trying to wrap around. Classic. Cole, go from behind. All right, Cole. Will Cole do it with a Cole wraparound? Can't get more cold than that. Let's see if Complexity can pull out a Complexity special here. Swindle, creep in, SG, discipline, he moves in. Can he get a hold of No, he's not in. Oh, the burrow! It wasn't even meant for him. He goes all the way down deep, getting a hold of Demon on that one. Then quickly steps back. Now the move's made, BKB's have been popped. ADR's able to make it out, they pop the root. They get a hold of Swindle. The rock will be there to temporarily save him. The song's on top of it too. Are they fighting or not? It looks like they're going to be able to lock Tavo in his spot, so it's not a very effective epicenter, but still SG are going to continue their chase and their assault. Can Cole make it away? Oh my god, Moo is going to be Naga. made into quick Just sushi melting. sashimi. <laughs> See you later, Naga. 
she is gone and gobbled on up. <laughs> this one's over. Sushi. SG went absolutely ham in this game three. Sushi sashimi, you say? Yeah, man. <laughs> you like? <laughs> yeah, I like it. <laughs> buybacks. buybacks. All the rest of the buybacks here for Cole. This is their tournament life, and they are not going to go out without at least question. They gave it everything they had. One last Rax is all that separates it. Final Shrine will be taken out. Well, from SG. SG says it's not the time yet. We'll wait for the next Roche, maybe. Will they really wait for the next Roche? Yeah, they may. Well, they're not in a hurry. I don't think there's any smokes left on the uh, complexity side. Uh, winner of this game as mentioned many times, does move on to playoffs. Their round one opponent uh, will be the top seed of Group B, which means Thunderbirds. So the winner of this is to face Thunderbirds, which obviously right now is looking pretty likely like an SG Thunderbirds kind of a series. Unless Cole can pull out something very, very miraculous. Yeah, what very is it? What, we, we talked about miracles, um, but... I don't know. Maybe they should it's play like, more. Maybe like, have you ever seen the movie Space Jam? Uh, of course. The aliens come down and just suck all the power out of the players. <laughs> that needs to happen. Just Everybody, get up! Power, it's time to slam now. Put all the power into a mouse and just maybe SG won't be able to play. They have no more pause time, so yeah. <laughs> Not likely though. Uh, Firo had been pushing out through this top lane. He's playing a dangerous game right now. Little does he know. Yeah, Fever, I mean, she just uh, doesn't know what to buy anymore. I mean, it's full uh, butterfly, it's uh, moon shard, like... What else is there? I, at Rear least he... Yeah, but nah, he's not gonna risk it. Uh, to give it to Ember Spirit, but... Uh, it's time to rush. There's another smoke from Complexity. Another let's go. Let's go! I mean, don't get me wrong, I would love to see Complexity flip this one around. Oh, they tried to go for a behind-the-back Roche play, but look who's around. SG say, ah, 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 ah. that's ours. To the oh, high ground you go. Stuck. They look to set it back. Demon's going to get taken care of, but they are going to be able to at least get off the rock. But who has rocks himself? It's going to be the Invoker, dishing out a refresher of a combo. Mu will be able to make his hasty escape back inside the base, but for the stragglers, they are desperate to try to run and make it out. Firo here, now getting chased up. There's HFN. Let's see how hard he hits. Oh, ah, oh, oh! Damn. Hard enough. SG get back to the Roche, where they're looking to go for their finish. Uh, Z Freak's been spotted. Tornado, Ice Wall, and he's gone. Back to the Roche fellows, and now they're going to get their Aegis. And uh, Cheese, looking pretty good. C14 will pick that one up, and it's time for SD to put a lid on it. If they can. You think 60s. it's time to finish the game? There will be no Z Freak, no Swindle for this defense. I don't think there's any reason that SG should not be able to close this one out, but we'll see what is there. Imagine. Do you believe? Can no. Cole do it? No? Okay. <laughs> Are you a believer of Cole? Yeah. Let I'm me a, hear you. I'm a realist, and... Uh... <laughs> Come on, guys. Let's see what they can do. Early Song will come out from Mu, slowing down just the bits of damage that are already being dished. They still have a Glyph to fall back on, but now the damage is going to be going out. There goes the Glyph. Tavo is committing in with the Epicenter right on top of Firo. Committing out the slights as best he can. Already having to head back home. It's HFN looking for the playoffs, going for nothing but the throne itself. And the Ancient will be theirs in just a few more shots. It is finally going to be done as it's going to be SG Esports taking down Complexity and moving on into the playoffs where they'll be slated to face Thunderbirds in the first round. All right. All righty. SG said it's enough. They just focused the throne. Uh, 
overall better performance from SG. Uh, I'd say I blame uh, Naga this game. Also, 